Hello and welcome to the session on average speed. In this particular session, we'll talk about how to calculate the average speed. We'll also discuss a couple of cases when the distance is constant and when the time period is constant. So to begin with, the most fundamental idea of average speed is if you do not know anything, just blindly apply this formula, the total distance covered by the total time taken. So let's say if in a journey, various, various distances covered are d1, d2, d3 till dn. And the total time taken is t1 plus t2 plus t3 till tn for the various parts of the journey. Then the average speed will be the sum of all the distances divided by sum of all the time taken. Now, if in each part the distance covered is constant, then the average speed is the harmonic mean of the various speeds. What I'm trying to say is, in that case, the average speed will be n by 1 by s1 plus 1 by s2 plus 1 by s3 till 1 by sn, which is actually nothing else but the harmonic mean of the different values of the speed. In case of 2, probably, you should remember the formula. It is 2 s1 s2 by s1 plus s2. It is also important to understand that why is it the harmonic mean? Well, what is the average speed? Total distance by total time. I am saying that the distance covered in each part is constant. So it will be d plus d plus d plus d n times divided by the total time taken, which will be t1 plus t2 plus t3 till tn. So what do I get as the numerator? I get the numerator as nd. What is the time taken for the first part? He is travelling d with a speed of s1. So the time taken for the first part is d by s1. Very similarly, the time taken for the second part is d by s2. The time taken for the third part is d by s3. And this goes on till d by sn. That will be the time taken for the nth part. Now, you can take d common from the numerator and the denominator and cancel out. And what will you be left with? Well, you'll be left with nothing else but the harmonic mean of the values which were given to you. And that is the reason that if the distance covered in each part is constant, then the average speed is the harmonic mean of the values. Maybe this is a formula that you have heard and a lot of people who have heard this formula, they always use the harmonic mean concept. But can you always use the harmonic mean concept? No, you cannot. This concept can be used only and only if the distance covered is a constant value. Otherwise, this formula cannot be used. Let us check in another example in which this formula is not used. Let's say if the time taken is constant for each part of the journey, then what will be the average speed? Then the average speed will be the arithmetic mean of the values. Yes, you heard it right. The average speed can also be the arithmetic mean of various speeds. But this happens when the time taken for each part is constant. Well, calculating arithmetic mean is easy. It will simply be sum of the values s1 plus s2 plus s3 till sn by n. And for two speeds, it will be s1 plus s2 by 2. Let's see why this formula is valid. Add up all the various distances d1, d2, d3 till dn. The various time taken. Well, time taken is constant. So I have just taken that as t, t, t in all the l n cases. So what do I get in the numerator? With the speed of s1, it is traveling for time t. So the first distance will be s1t. Very similarly, second distance will be s2t. Next distance will be s3t and so on. Once again, you can take t common from the numerator and from the denominator. You will be left with s1 plus s2 plus s3 till sn, which is divided by n, which is nothing else but the arithmetic mean of the values given. Let us look at a couple of examples based on average speed. Let's say a person goes from A to B with a speed of 40 km per hour. With what speed should he come back so that the average speed is 60 km per hour? Now the first thing that you should notice is that the distance is constant. Well, if you go from A to B or you come back from B to A, the distance traveled in both paths is the same. So the average speed is going to be 2s1 s2 by s1 plus s2. So use the formula 2 going speed is 40. 
let's say the speed that you want to find out is s divided by 40 plus s and that is equal to 60 2 s1 s2 by s1 plus s2 try to solve this equation what will you get well you have 80 on the left and 60 on the right divisible by 20 so this can be written as 4s divided by 40 plus s which is actually equal to 3 solve the equation further 4s is equal to 40 into 3 or 120 plus 3s which gives me the value of s as 120 kilometer per hour so that is the answer that we were looking for so if the person is going with 40 and the average speed should be 60 he should come back with 120 kilometer per hour very similar question the next one a person goes from a to b with a speed of 40 with what speed should he come back so that the average speed is 80 kilometer per hour well very similar question i'll try and form a very similar equation 2 into 40 into s divided by 40 plus s which is equal to 80 solve the equation 80 80 cancels from both sides you have s by 40 plus s which is equal to 1 which will give me s is equal to 40 plus s s cancels from both sides and i get 0 equal to 40 so wait how come this happened this is something which is definitely wrong so we have made a mistake what is my mistake i have used the correct formula i have put in the correct values well the mistake is that you are assuming the average speed to be 80 km per hour is it even possible no it is not possible the average speed in a journey when the distance is constant can never be greater than twice of a value so the average speed is always always lesser than the going speed or let's say you are given the coming back speed let us look at the formula for further clarification what i'm saying is average speed is 2 s1 s2 by s1 plus s2 so it can never be let's say i'm saying that it becomes 2 s1 is it possible no because s2 by s1 plus s2 will always be a value lesser than 1 and that is the reason that the average speed will always always be lesser than twice of an individual speed now it could be the going speed or the coming back speed does not matter but the average speed has to be, has to be less than twice of the going speed or the coming back speed so the average speed if i have taken it as 80 or i have taken it as 81 or 85 or 102 that is just not possible the average speed has to be lesser than the double of 40 or lesser than the double of 40 or lesser than 80 kilometers per hour and that was a mistake which led to the value of 0 equal to 40. so please be careful in such sort of questions with this i like to wrap up the session on average speed please provide feedback via twitter or you can also email me on my mail id which is ravihanda at gmail.com thank you